Hey guys, welcome to my channel. And in today's video, it's another story time. Dig, 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 dig. I don't know if I should say another story time. Like, the first one, was it a story time? I don't think so, because I was talking about Zimbabwe, so current affairs. And then in yesterday's video, I was talking about my streams of consciousness. So that was just my streams of consciousness. And in Vlogmas day three, please clap for me. It's been three days in a row. <laughs> in Vlogmas day three, what are we talking about today? So in today's video, sorry, I've got notes down here. No one steals books, yo. What am I talking about? Why am I saying no one steals books? Okay. So, in 2012, five years ago, I was down here homeless around this time of the year. I was staying in a very fancy place of London and it's called Tottenham. So I had this landlord how did i meet this landlord my ex-boyfriend knew like he was my boyfriend at the time five years ago and he had a friend who knew my landlord he was like his friends with the landlord and my boyfriend had told him like i was looking for a new place and all this jazz so he was like yeah i found her a place and this dude is cool and the rent wasn't bad and I was working in Old Street and this place in Tottenham was like you could just boom get on one bus 243 to take me from Tottenham to Old Street and I feel like where the place was and there was like a park right across from the house really nice park and it wasn't bad like my neighbors were like these old like a Congolese couple those were my neighbors and the other neighbor was like an old lady yeah so when I went to move in there was this guy right name was Cisco yeah he called himself Cisco well Francisco but he called himself Cisco anyway so when I moved in my landlord was in the house Cisco was in the house I thought standard shit your landlords of course is going to be in the house the day you move in you know give you the keys tell you where the stuff is all that stuff and that happened but what didn't happen no so then they leave i'm like yeah cool but then i go into the bedroom and there's like a bag like right someone's bag so i call my landlord and i was like yo is this your stuff does it stay here what happens and he's like oh that's the cisco stuff cisco is going to come and pick pick it up cisco came later on i thought he's here to pick his stuff up cisco came chilled sat on the sofa spoke a bit I'm like yeah fellow african you know my brother we chill i was like yeah so then he goes hey can i just crash on the sofa for tonight because where i need to go is far i need to go out of london you know like my bag is there i need to go i'm like yeah cool okay went into the bedroom locked the door because i don't know cisco from nowhere following day i'm going to work cisco is there i'm a little bit uncomfortable so i'm like yo what's going to happen like he's like no it's cool reese gave me keys i'm like uh can i have those keys now and it looked like cisco was not going anywhere anyway i stayed in the place i think i was there for like five six months yeah everything was good no problem it was actually more than five six months it's like eight months yeah because it was august and i'd moved in no so it was 10 months because i'd moved in like november yeah so it was because this this stuff happened in august or september it happened in september so then what had happened was me and my bff tams were like girl let's go on a girl's trip let's just go quick four days away but we don't want to go anywhere far but we want to go somewhere where we've never been we're like yay let's go to jersey we see we looked at pictures of jersey and they've got nice sandy beaches 
Ah, oh, and they've got lobsters. Girl, let's go. And it, it was the most fun girl trip we've ever had. Day like, off, because we're going to Jersey on the Friday. So this is like on, so I take Wednesday and Thursday off so I can do some shopping. So I go to, I lock my doors, I lock everything. When I leave my house, my house is, my house is pristine. Everything is clean. Everything is, is in its place. Yeah, I'm cool. Lock my door, lock the other extra lock, you know, just to be secure. This is Tottenham after all. I go, I shop. I'm there for like three, four hours. I come back home, coming, opening my door. The lock on the bottom is not locked, but now I'm like, did I lock it? Didn't I lock it? Then I walk in and I had like a coat rail. The coat rail is on the floor and I'm like, what the, you know? So then I walk into my living room. Bruh. Bruh. I look my living room. And I'm like, nah, bruh. So I walk out of the house. I close my door. I kid you not. This is what I did. Close my door. Come back. Open the door again, look at the rail, walk into the living room, look at the living room again, go now nah, bruh, what's happened? Go into the bedroom, look at everything, bruh, what happened? Go into the kitchen, ooh, what happened? Dude, yes, I had been burgled. A lot of things go in your mind and because I had a back garden I was like should I look in the garden what if someone's still in the garden like what has happened who did this I look in the garden nothing and because when I left the house I left the house you know like when you leave your house and it's like oh this is just a quick shop run I'm gonna come back so there's certain things like when I would go to work there's certain things I'd really put away and hide like electronics and all this stuff but that day because that Primark thought had been like an afterthought right and I also needed to pick groceries up because that's when Tamara was coming to visit so then I called Tamara and Yo. I'm like I think I've been robbed. She's like, what do you mean? I'm like, dude, there's nothing. Like, I go into my living room, my TV's not there. Damn, my skybox is not there. She's like, yeah? You sure? I was like, yeah, I'm sure. I've kind of walked in and out like five times, dude. And she's like, yo, what happened? I'm trying to call my landlord. He's not picking up anymore. His phone is going to voicemail. I'm like, what? Oh, so that's the day I remember Cisco. I call Cisco. I'm like, yo, can you look for your dude? Because my house has been robbed. And he's like, what? You've been robbed? That's not fair. Go on to my neighbors, knock on their door. Did you see anything? They're like, yo, we actually thought you were moving out. Bruh. I'm like, what you mean? Bruh. They're like, yeah, we saw people. And sure, we saw your landlord. We thought you were moving out. I'm like, what? My landlord stole from me. I don't even owe him anything. I don't even owe him rent. He can't steal from me. Ah, uh, then the old lady. It's like, yo, I didn't see anything, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so I called the police to report this because this is a crime. And then the police came and, um, so one of the police was like, well, if you suspect it's your landlord because it wasn't like a breaking and entering, this is a civil case, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, yeah, but it's been taken. And he's like, yeah, but it's a civil case. I think in that aspect, he was just like, yeah, yo, I don't know, right? And so they were like, oh, can you show us like your rent statements? Like if you've like been paying your landlord? And I was like, of course, who me? Me that keeps a spreadsheet of every time I pay rent? me that's the one you're saying do you have proof of course mr office i have proof yeah so what had happened was he'd gone into the living room stolen everything do you know what he did not steal my freaking books every single one of them was there He didn't steal my books. Um, <laughs> I know we'll joke about it, but in essence, 
being like being burgled is actually a serious thing it stays with you a long time you feel violated and that feeling of violation never goes away um it also makes you not buy too many things in a rental place it makes you wary of a lot of things like all that but justice was done he was caught and he did go to prison because cisco <laughs> cisco cisco did call me and he told me and he was like yo the dude was arrested and cisco's like oh so you went to the police and i was like yeah so you thought i was finna joking but i never got my stuff back i never got my phone with my memories on that phone i never got my laptop with my stuff on that laptop back but it it taught me a lot of things it taught me about contents insurance in your home and the greatest thing is invest in books because no one's ever going to steal with your books how many stories have you heard of oh armed robbers went into the library and ripped it out of sh books armed robbers went into this bookstore in mayfair and took all the books no you never hear that because hey no one steals books so yeah if you need to invest your money in anything buy yourself some books you know me i love books i love literature and i want all of us to read and enjoy reading and um I think the book I'll recommend it would be Neil Gaiman, American Gods, because I am finally, finally reading this book because I've read this book. I've read this book since the beginning of the year, but I'm reading American Gods and it's a great, great, great book. Highly, highly recommend it. And yeah, so your book of the day today, American Gods. It is a series on Netflix, but I say read the book. I think you enjoy the book more. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Bye!